So what's the difference between advertising via Facebook ads and advertising via Google AdWords? Well, there are certain similarities. First of all, both Facebook ads and Google AdWords are pay-per-click or PPC. At least Facebook does have a PPC option. And both allow you to set a cost per click, otherwise known as a CPC, and a budget. Both will show ads which pay the highest most often. Both allow you some degree of targeting and both have different ad types which enables you to match the ad to the target audience. But that's about where the similarity ends. So let's take a look at some of the key differences between advertising on Google AdWords and advertising on Facebook ads. Now when someone does a search on Google AdWords ads are shown in the SERPs, that's the search engine results pages, and they're generally shown down the uh, right-hand column and sometimes across the top of the results. And you can see they usually say ads or sponsored results. And you can also show an ad on somebody else's website via Google's AdSense program, meaning you can reach a very wide audience with Google AdWords. AdWords are also the best known and most respected form of pay-per-click advertising, but they're also the most highly competitive. Facebook ads, by comparison, are seen only on Facebook and Instagram now that Facebook has acquired it. So it's not so wide an audience so it's not as expensive. Well, most of the time anyway. But the thing about Facebook ads and where Facebook ads really score over Google AdWords is they offer more precise targeting, especially when you're advertising on Facebook itself. Now, let me give you an example of how this works. Let's say, for example, you have a store selling wedding dresses. You can set it up so that only women who list their status as being engaged and live within a certain distance of your bricks and mortar store are going to see that ad. Nobody else will. Other women who live within that certain radius but are single or married already and therefore aren't going to be interested in a wedding dress uh, they're not going to see your ad. Likewise, women who are engaged but live further away than the distance that you've set, and therefore you know it's too far for them to go and pay a visit to your wedding dress shop, they're not going to see the ad either. So you can really drill down and only make sure that your target audience actually sees that ad. Likewise, if you run a site on giving dating tips for guys, you can make sure that only men who list themselves as single see your ad. Men who list themselves as being married or in a relationship, they're not going to see your ad at all. So they're not going to be interested in buying your ebook or signing up to your membership site for dating tips. So there's not a lot of point in showing them that ad. And this is where Facebook advertising really scores is because you can really zero in on a very, very specific type of person, your ideal customer. You can decide what he or she is, and then you can make sure that only those people who fit the very narrow criteria see your ad, and therefore they're more likely to buy your product or service and you're more likely to make a successful sale. That's the sort of thing I mean. The biggest difference, though, is that when people do a search on Google and see an AdWords ad, they are actively looking for something. You know, you go to Google, you type in your search term, and you're looking to find something, and you see the result, and you see the AdWords ad. Now, people come to Facebook to connect with friends and not specifically to buy products or services. 
You must therefore use your Facebook ad to create a demand, not just satisfy it. And that's the biggest difference. So you really need a different type of advertising strategy when you're advertising on Facebook compared to advertising on Google AdWords.